Hey everyone, welcome to another one in Phasmophobia. Let's go to Edgefield Road and this time we got zero evidence and no squint. Hey, let's grab our stuff. Nice objectives. Ooh, look at this weather. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, Edgefield at sunrise. Let's hop in. Okay, let's hop in. Oh, let's grab the key. The breakers in the garage. I have to get used to turn on both lights here so my sanity won't drain at the entrance area. Oh, it's so bright with the sunrise weather. Where's the um, basement door, right? Bony? So Ghosty is here, I guess. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, Let's see. Do we have a bony pen here somewhere? Ghosty is around this area. I don't know if it's in the basement though. Let's quickly have a look around for bony pens down here before we go upstairs. Oh, come on. So we have found the ghost. Damn it, no bony pens down here, I guess. We got the living room left. Uh, I also need to go to the basement. Are you in here or are you at the piano room? No bony pants here, okay. Let's go to the basement first. Let's get this over with. Let's hope there's a hiding spot down here. Come on, give me the light switch. Give it to me. Give me the light switch. Oh, there you are. Good thing I've checked here first. Ooh. Oh, wait. Let's see. Do we have hiding down here? No. Okay. I don't know if Ghosty is down here and just warmed upstairs. Because they can't change ghost room on my settings, but they can still roam. Are you here? Give us a sign. Maybe it's here or in the kitchen. That's possible as well. Wait a second, let me check with the thermal because it might be upstairs and just the interactions are bleeding through the floor, you know? This could happen. Okay. It's going down here in this hallway. Let's see, does it go back up if I... Yeah, it goes back up if I go into the living room. So Ghosty is in this hallway. We got a hallway Ghosty here. Yeah, it goes back up if I get in here. So this is the ghost room, okay? Have those close together. Let's hold on to the smudge for now. Because I want to get those crucifixes ASAP. No, no, no. You can't scare me with that. Okay, place that here. We don't have the end one secured, but I want to secure this here. Oh, did I have... Oh, yeah, we have a hiding spot here. Great. Let's secure this hiding spot here. We can also set up for faulty. Again, the basement door. Airball. So I'd say not a shade and not an only. Let's check our sanity. If it's now at 90 or 85, we can roll out shade. It's at... Yeah, we can roll out shade. Shade and only is out because you have to... It was initially like between 91 and 94 because we got hit by the air ball. It uh, has drained our sanity by 10%, which means initially it was higher. So yeah. Okay, let's place that here so we can see the doors. Because if it's a year away, we can see that. I'm gonna give you this candle and I'm gonna ignite the others as well. Here you go, ghosty. You can blow that out if you like to. It's your birthday. <laughs> okay. Set up our hiding spot as good as possible. I, I'm gonna hold on to this much because I don't trust those crucifixes. I mean, it has done a pretty good job on prison before, you know? Place that here so we can see if the ghost worms towards us. I'll whisk it. I'll whisk it. Yeah. Give me those. Those are for Palti Highway. And may I have some more items, please? Because I just need a bit more stuff in the ghost room because there's nothing here. We have to load that room up. Okay. Um, give me this. 
to mark our hiding area. This here is to is for checking for Banshee later. Oh, it has blown out that candle, but I haven't taken a photo of that. No, it's still lit. Okay. Let's leave that between those. Maybe it's gonna make some noise if it has blown out some of those. Um, grab those. Just like that. Ow. There we go. What about this one? It's still lit, okay. I can hear the motion sensors, even if they are going off in the truck. That's so cool on Edgefield. So y the tier one motion sensors are like tier two, because you can still hear them from the truck. Okay, we're gonna need this, we're gonna need this, we're gonna need this. This is our audio stuff. Oh, it has blown out this candle. If it blows out that one and tries to hunt then, and we might be dealing with an unreal. Where's the pussy? It's there, okay. Let's place some salt around here. You can see if that ghost worms around here. Okay, we need this EMF to test for phantom over here. This one is still lit though, I haven't blown that out. So we also need... Got the EMF before I heard the door. Ah, it was the candle. That was a mistake, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Okay, 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 we're fine with the photos. Okay. Um, hasn't stepped into the salt yet. Weird. Are you awake? Okay, I didn't... You went into the living room, huh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Mm, we can leave that here. Yes, that's a good light source. Um, not a light switch. Wait a second. Did you turn on a light? Or off? That was the breaker. I turned off the slide here. Okay, that's fine. I don't think I'm gonna make the breaker in time though. Oh, you know what? Let's take those. Wait, do we need a ghost photo? No, we don't. That's good. Hey, ghosty, how are you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, photos are full. Leave one here. Leave the EMF here and put one here. So we can roll out gin now. Because a gin never turns off a breaker. We need to test for stalking ghosts. So we need to see if the ghost worms towards us for... Oh, it's also not a wave because it stepped into the salt. So for Banshee and Phantom, we need to test if it comes all the way over here. The EMF tells us if it's a Phantom. Interesting. Okay, but it just walked up until this room here, because it has triggered the sensor. I love the sensors, by the way. I love using them. They are so helpful, not only for the stalking ghost. For example, if you don't have salt, like in the challenge mode, or you haven't unlocked it yet, but if you have an EMF and a motion sensor, you can figure out a way without salt. Or... Um, if a ghost does a ghost event in this room here, I know exactly when the ghost leaves the room because it's gonna trigger the sensor. Because I set one sensor into the door frame. You just need to place them in a good way. And for what are they good as well? You can also use them for shade because you can track the ghost if the ghost leaves the room and then throws something, you know, okay, the ghost was outside of the room. It wasn't with me in the room and threw something. It's good for that. And you can also test for mare with that because if you turn on the lights and if the ghost keeps leaving the room like crazy every time you turn on the lights, you can track that with the sensor too. And you can also use them during a hunt if you're dealing with a phantom and it's coming at you the sensor will warn you because it's going to trigger the sensor even if it's invisible because the phantom is invisible for a long time. 
And you can also use them for a ghost elk highway like I always do. Because if the ghost, in this case I'm right next to the breaker, but if the ghost kills the breaker, if you are on sunny meadows and if you don't want to walk uh, a far way to the breaker again to turn it back on, you can combine flashlights, motion sensors, maybe some candles and UV light and dots to actually see the ghost during a hunt without the breaker being on. And the sensors will tell you how close the ghost is. Okay, ghost, do you have... Wait a second. You... It turned on this light. This light here. It turned it on. I never turned this on. So it's not a male. We can rule out a lot of ghosties here. So a male never turns on a light. A wraith never steps into the salt. The gin never turns off the breaker. The shade never does a ghost event if you are like above 90% sanity. And the Oni never gives you an airball ghost event. So we have ruled out so many ghosts already. Okay. Why did I lose that much sanity? I mean, I got hit by one event, right? So we are between 66 and 70. Okay. 66 and 70. Let's try to keep... I think you even turned on this light as well, huh? Okay. Um, and Unreal will never start a hunt when there's a candle on top of a crucifix. I'm gonna leave them now. I'm crazy with the lights. Wow. I mean, all the lights are on in this room, so we can add some more items. This is for poltergeist test, because it could explode the items. But don't throw them on top of each other, because... Um, you may get a false faulty explosion. Did you? Oh, you blew out the candle. Okay. Thought it threw the item while I was throwing it. That might happen sometimes. If you throw an item into the ghost room, the ghost might catch it mid-air and uh, toss it even further. <laughs> so funny if that happens. It happens quite rarely, but it happens. <laughs> a knock? Where did you knock on? Oh, maybe the entrance area. Okay, let's make sure the lights are on so I don't lose any sanity. And if I do, it's a more way, but actually it has been a little bit tricky recently with, um, with sanity. I don't know why. It's a bit weird. But I'm gonna put the whole kitchen and the whole dining room in there. Mm. Let's scatter this all over the place. What are you doing in the garage? When did you get over there? No, you didn't step in it. You've interacted through the wall. Okay. Because it was over there and inter in it interacted through the wall. Oh my god, sorry. I can't speak. <laughs> because it's working here. You see the sensor? Okay. So let's have a look. What was it? Something 66 to 70, right? The, the fuck? So either the map is broken or this has to be an actual moorway this time. What? I've been in the lights. All lights are on here. All lights are on in this hallway. All lights were on in the kitchen. All lights were on here. And this was on. So if this... If this happens to not be a moroi, I'm gonna go crazy with the sanity drain on Edgefield. I'm gonna say moroi. This is a moroi. It's slow, you hear that? By the way, some people think moroi's hunt early. Oh damn, it's the tier 1 smudge. I love the tier 2 smudge to test for the smudge effect. This is going like crazy though. So, some people think the more I hunts early, but that's not the case. It just drains your sanity pretty quickly. And if you have the monitors on, you'll know that. I always play with the monitors because they are so helpful for ghosts like this because then uh, you know okay it didn't hunt early it started hunting because of um, the sanity drain 
So if this is a Morroy, we are cursed right now. And now we're gonna lose 10% sanity more because of that event. So we should be now for sure below 35%. Maybe we are even now at 20 because of the curse. So if this is a Morroy at around 25%, I think it's like a normal speed ghost and below 25% it's even faster. Mmm. Ghosty, cut that out. I need the lights. I didn't pay attention to the time. You can also check the more why, um... Oh, it's gonna start at some... There, huh? Standing there, you see that? That's why I love the sensors. They are like an early warning system. You know exactly where the ghost is moving around. I should move that to the side so I can see it a bit better. Oh yeah, it's way faster. Okay, it took very long until the ghost targets me again. Don't open this. The smudge hasn't... The smudge has burned out and the ghost was still not targeting me. I thought I had a second smudge. I almost died here. I thought I had two smudges on me, but I only had one. But I was looking at the smudge and it was, uh, it has burned out completely and uh, the ghost still wasn't targeting me again. So this is a more why. Let's wait until our sanity hits zero and then you'll see how fast this ghost can be and... Oh my god, it's, <laughs> it's going crazy on the items. Oh, Ghosty loves, the, loves those items. Yeah, Ghosty, I did this just for you because you're being a nice Ghosty Pants. <laughs> so always make sure if you do a Moray test, either be in a room with only one light source, or if you have multiple, turn on all the lights that are in the room so you won't lose any sanity so the test is valid, you know. I guess I'm gonna grab that crucifix here. And by the way, the Moroi is uh, stunned for longer by this much. It's stunned for like, um, how much was it? 7.5 seconds instead of 5. Something around that. Something around 7. And a normal ghost is stunned or disoriented by this much by like 5 seconds only. Every other ghost. The Moroi is the only one that's uh, being disoriented longer as the more why this is about the sanity that means sanity and this here does it mean with this much this hyperos yeah or whatever that is hyperosma <laughs> okay ghosty we are ready so now I could also show you how you can test the more why with the sanity medication but um gonna stop there. You hear how fast that is? And it's gonna be even faster in line of sight. You hear that? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> so guys, that's a Moroi at 0% sanity. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. You know what? Wow. Trick shot. You know what? I'm gonna show you the other way. Oh, you've turned the lights back on. Can you turn on those? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I won't ask you for that again. Don't worry. <laughs> so, as you can see, we are at zero sanity. I'm gonna take two sanity pills with me. Yeah, it's zero. So you've heard the speed now. That's the fastest a more I can get. So now we're gonna wait for the next hunt and um, we're gonna listen to the speed. One of those... What are you doing in here? Oh, it blew out the candle. One of those we store 25% sanity, which means if we take one, then it's gonna restore 25% sanity over 30 seconds or 20. I think they've changed that. It's 20 seconds and the hunt lasts 30 seconds. 
So we have to take them right at the start of the hunt. And I'm gonna take two, which means we're gonna restore 50% sanity over 20 seconds. And you can listen to the ghost during those 20 seconds. You can hear it. It will become slower. Cut this out! God damn it, leave the lights on. I need to know when the hunt's over. <laughs> now listen. Cool, huh? Hear how slow it was upstairs. And also, once you take uh, sanity medication, the curse will be lifted. So it cures the Morai curse. So if you get cursed by the Morai using the spirit box or the power mic, you drain your sanity faster. But once you take sanity medication, the curse will be lifted completely. So you'll be fine after that if you want to get rid of the curse. But I like that curse. I always keep up the curse because I like the way you can listen the ghost becoming faster during the hunt because of that curse. You can also do it uh, the other way around. If you have like on a large map, for example, or if you're far enough away from the ghost, it almost sounded like you, eh? Um, you could use like a Ouija board in the hiding spot and ask a question that takes a lot of sanity, like how many pickles can you fit up your bot or where's the bone that costs 20%. And then you can hear it speeding up incredibly fast during the hunt because you lose uh, a lot of sanity at once. There are many ways to figure out this ghost. If you have the tier two smudges, you can do the seven second test with the smudge effect and you can do the test with the pills, you can do the test with the power mic and uh, the sanity check. There are many ways to figure out this ghost and if you couldn't do one of those tests, you can just like wait a bit in the hiding spot and listen if it becomes faster and faster and faster. And also a Moroi speeds up in line of sight, which means you heard how fast it was at zero sanity and it can even become faster than that. So I think it's even faster than a revenant that sees you. So yeah, a nice payout we got here. And oh my god, do we get two levels out of this? That's cool. I think I'm gonna do another 9.2 eventually. But I don't know if it's gonna be the next one or the one after. Because when I got this prestige here, the first one, that 9.2 difficulty with crappy items, with no money, nothing, on sunny meadows with a ghost being right at the front. It was just insane. It was so much fun, but it was also scary and terrifying. <laughs> that was so, f it was just great. So here are the stats. Abilities use, it means if you get the whisper or a spirit box response, you'll be cursed. If you get cursed once, your sanity drains. It doesn't matter if you get whispers after that, then it's gonna just say two, three, four, it's gonna count up, but it won't uh, increase the curse or th something like that. Once you have the curse, it's gonna remain the same until you either leave the house, which pauses the curse, or until you use sanity medication to lift the curse completely. So yeah, those are the sets. I hope you liked it. Good luck with your next Moroi. See you then. Bye.